All right, breaking news from Anders Halsberg at Microsoft. Breaking news. Breaking news. Break that news. TypeScript, going to get 10x faster. 10 times as fast. TypeScript. Was it slow or is it fast already? Was it slow? Is it like, is that a good thing or a bad thing? I mean, 10x anything is good, right? I mean, faster is better, generally speaking, right? Like, we like faster. I think it's slow on large code bases. And, of course, Microsoft has the largest code bases of anybody, practically. They tested it out on VS Code, Playwright, Type ORM, Date Functions, TRPC, and RxJS. That's been their repos they've been testing it against. And VS Code's pretty big, 1.5 million lines. And against that code base, now running against the entire code base, which you don't always do in practice, right? But if you were to, then it would take 77.8 seconds. That's pretty slow. Like, that's enough mm. time to lose your concentration and go do something else, right? I'm sorry. I, you were paused there for a second. I lost my concentration. <laughs> yeah, it was too long. I talked for too long. Yeah, it's like I just got bored. I need to talk faster. I, you know, it's 10 seconds too long. You know, I'm gone already. Right. Not even 77 seconds. Well, you're back now. Now that you're back, don't you think that if you had to wait 77 seconds, oh yeah, you probably would go do something else. So, yes, on large code bases, it's slow. And, of course, where you feel it is inside your editor. And uh, it could be faster. And so that's what Microsoft is doing. They're announcing today a 10x faster TypeScript by rewriting TypeScript in Go. Not to be clear, they said they're, they've begun work. Yeah, it's not ready yet. So it's not complete. No, right, but it is, is to be uh, to come in the future. It's announced. It's to become in the future, uh, mid twenty twenty five. Mid twenty twenty five. I mean, that's not very far away. <laughs> I mean, it's right here. You know, it's right I mean, here. practically, it's March eleventh. So that's uh, Q. Is that Q two? No, it's the end of Q one. Mid. We're thinking average, and we're thinking maybe July. That's what I would be thinking. August and September if they're a little bit later mid. But still, it works today on these large code bases, so it can run against VS Code. So uh, probably significant amount of work has been done. To be able to run TSC mm -hmm. against these repos. Now, Visual Studio Code with the standard TypeScript, takes 77.8 seconds. Are you with me? Did I lose you? Uh, no, I'm still here. Tracking. Okay. This new native rewrite in Go, they're calling it native. Not or sure course why. Of. Yes. Uh, 7.5 seconds. I mean, that's a lot of seconds difference, right? That's like, that is 10x difference, right? That's an order of magnitude right there. So 10.4x to be precise. That's right. They, they really missed an opportunity here, Jared. More For than 10x. <laughs> well, they didn't they want to oversell it. X. it. More than 10x, 0.4 more That's right. than 10x. Well, against RxJ, RxJS, uh, which is the observable library, only 2,100 lines of code, so more in the area of what a lot of us are working, uh, mm. from 1.1 second to run TSC against it to 0.1 seconds. That, my friend, is an 11x. So they could have they could have gotten at least 11 they didn't want to, they were like, listen, hey, we, we, we use 10, we got 10. Let's just say 10. It's really like 13.5 in some cases, 11.0 in others. Let's just say 10x. They missed an opportunity, though. They could have said, TypeScript on Go, it goes to 11x. No, what did uh, they say? It goes to 11. <laughs> yeah, this one goes to 11. Of course, uh, uh, type ORM now. That they one need us on their team, you know? Okay. Let's sweat the details in this title, y'all. I accept. Anders, if you're out there, we accept. We will, well, I don't know if we're going to join your team, but we'll temporarily join your team to help you. That's right. For just a moment. better headlines. Although that's a pretty good one. You know, 10X is awesome. It's not bad. Although 13.5X is what happened with Type ORM. So they're definitely underselling it. And that's okay. Because maybe they'll over deliver. So what does this really mean though? So that means if you're a TypeScript developer and you've got a code base that's written TypeScript, you can compile faster than you have been able to before. That's what this boils down to, right? That's right. You can run the TypeScript compiler against 
your entire code base faster, which means even in the small, you know, like look at RxJS from one second to 0.1 seconds. So you're going to notice it. I know we, we usually run it against one file sometimes or against a small subsection of our code base. Basically but, instant. And the cool thing is, is like, it's just a rewrite. There's no like API changes and stuff. So I assume when it's ready to use, and I'm guessing you can use it today if you're danger, like live dangerously, you can just try it out and see if you notice a, dis a difference. So this is rewritten in Rust or is it Go? What is it rewritten in? It's, it's Go. You trying to, are you trying to start a flame war? So Microsoft is using Go? Anders and the TypeScript team are using Go. You know how big Microsoft is? They're using every language under the sun somewhere, somehow, some way. Over yeah. Rust, though. I thought they were like a Rust, you know, household. Over Go. You know how big Microsoft is? They're using every language under the sun. But I do respect the flame war you're trying to create. Well, you know, it was previously written in TypeScript. That's right. Something, the worst programming know. language of all. <laughs> <laughs> Some serious flame wars happening right now. Like yeah, somebody's I mean, about to serious. slap you, Jared. Uh, it won't be me, but I'll watch and, and get the popcorn. I respect TypeScript, the fact that it exists. I understand how much it's helping teams in the world, in the real world, with large, serious business code bases. And I'm just happy I'm not one of them. <laughs> if only Nick were here. <laughs> if only Nick were here. Let's get the flame wars going. So this comes just after announcing TypeScript 5.8. Yeah, but I think the TypeScript version numbers are meaningless at this point. Are they? I mean, they, they announce things, they release things. But I remember TypeScript 5, back when we did JS Party, I was trying to make a big deal out of it. And then Nick was like, yeah, it's not actually a big deal. I was like, dang it. And he's like, they just... Okay, so this is... Just another release. No, this is a big deal. This is a 10x faster, even 13.5x if they want to hit the higher number there. What do we hope happens from here? Should we get uh, Anders on the show? I mean, it's been several years. I mean, about eight, nine maybe, I'm going to guess. It's, it's been a spell. Been forever. It's practically forever. I think it was actually when TypeScript first launched. Darn near. Pert near. So long ago, I can't remember. You looking it up? No. I was relying upon you. Yeah. I get my robots on the mic series. Hang on a second. Robots go. Wait. Right. Ro I'm just kidding. Are They're they listening? <laughs> They're listening. It was uh, 2015. T 10 years. Oh, man. 10, 10 years, 10x, and 10, X and 10 years. 10 years. It's too long. That thing writes itself. Gosh. Almost to the date. Recorded April 24th, 2015. So that's a, a month away. If we could ship, we could get him on the show, ship at April, whatever you just said. I mean, we could just be 25th, 24th. We complete perfection. Oh here's my what, gosh. Here's this what is... Anders says at the end of this post. In the coming months, we'll be sharing more about this exciting effort, including deeper looks into performance, a new compiler API, LSP, and more. They've got an FAQ. There's going to be an AMA. He definitely needs to come on the change log. And a change log, apparently. So you, you mentioned API there. There is a new compiler API coming. Can you speculate since you don't use the API at all? Like, what would you expect? Better? Faster? More? I don't really know. I know nothing of the current compiler API. I don't know its shortcomings or its strengths. I don't know what you'd replace it with. I assume whatever it is is going to be Go powered and um, beats me, Adam. Beats me. That's beats why I was you. trying to wrap this up. I've extended to the to the length of my expertise here. Uh, Don't go any deeper, well, man. Thanks for listening, y'all. Breaking news. Breaking news. Friends here, change log. 10x faster, even maybe 13.5x.